video has been created for the Clearwater Public Library System. Family supervision and participation are strongly encouraged and definitely required for younger children. Welcome to Pool Noodle Coral Reefs. I'm Miss Jill, also known as Jill Jackson. Hi, and I'm Nicole. Thank you so much for joining us today. We really miss being able to see you at the library, but we're very happy to be able to at least meet up with you virtually. My family and I swam into the depths of the ocean to bring you this craft about coral reefs. Or maybe we doggy paddle in the kiddie pool. Or maybe we're sitting in our own kitchen. But it doesn't matter because we're going to have a great time today. Many of you will have picked up a make and take craft kit from the library. In case you don't have a craft kit, don't worry because I'll be showing you how to make this project with things that you probably have around your house. What you'll need? School glue, tape, and scissors. I've included this list of what you'll need if you don't have a craft kit as well as optional supplies you may wish to add. I've got three printouts available. One is a coloring page of some sea creatures. One has some facts about coral reefs and an additional coloring page. And the other is a coloring page I've already colored in for you in case you'd like to take a shortcut and get right to cutting out your sea creatures. A great tip for this coloring page is probably to keep your kitten off of it, but meanwhile, I suggest that you color the back of the coloring page in blue. That way, when you're cutting out your shapes, it makes it a little bit easier, so if you end up with a little bit of extra paper, you already have water already around your sea creature. If you can't print out the coloring pages, draw some sea creatures on paper and cut them out. Before we get started, what is a barrier reef? Well, according to the Merriam-Webster Dictionary, a coral reef is a reef composed of a large colony of corals, including the stony skeletons of both living and dead corals. Coral reefs are made from thousands of individual animals called polyps, which form colonies. Awesome! A barrier reef is actually a type of coral reef. There are three main types of coral reefs. Fringing reefs, the most common type of reef, they're usually close to the coastline and are separated from the shore by shallow, narrow lagoons. Barrier reefs, also usually close to the shoreline, are separated from the shore by deeper and wider lagoons and often form barriers to ships and navigation. And atolls, which are usually in the middle of the ocean and are rings of coral that create protected lagoons. So let's get started! We're going to change your view right about now. For those of you with a craft kit, here's what's inside. You should have enough to create two coral reefs or share with a friend or family member. We'll begin by cutting out our sea creatures. and we'll select three main creatures for each coral reef. As well as several creatures to glue onto our bases. Now we'll flip these characters over and tape a skewer onto the back of each one. Now let's grab our pool noodle coral pieces. I've color coded them to make it easier. You'll need skewers for each of these pieces. Now I've personally cut the tips off each one of these skewers, but I ask that you please be careful when working with them. Very slowly, we're going to try to insert the skewer into the side of this pool noodle coral, leaving a little bit at the top. Now we'll add this pool noodle flower on the top, and we are done with this piece.
and we'll be doing the same thing with this red coral piece. Just be sure to take your time. We'll top this off with this yellow flower. And this one's done too. We'll start our blue coral out the same way. Be sure to keep your hands and fingers away from the tip of the skewer. But try something a little different here at the top. I've also decided to add a few more sea creatures. Can you really ever have enough sea creatures? Here's a nifty trick. Take one of the pipe cleaners and wrap it around your finger. Now pull that out a little bit and add it onto one of your sea creatures. Now we'll do this again with the seahorse. And we're ready to move on. Now grab four of your round corals and a skewer. And let's add them each to the skewer. Notice how I hold the round coral so that the tip of the skewer is never coming towards my hand or my fingers. Now we'll push these down a bit. So we can add a shark. Feel free to change up these corals. Use your imagination. Now let's get our yarn and some round coral. So we'll start by threading the yarn through the round coral and tying a knot. Tie another knot. And it's time to move on to our next piece of coral. So we'll string our next coral a few inches from the first. And again, tie a knot. And another knot. We're basically creating a round coral garland. Continue stringing the round coral onto each piece of yarn. You want to end up with two garlands, one for each of your coral reefs.
No craft kit? No problem! Here I'm going to show you how to make the same corals with some paper towel or toilet paper tubes. This works great if you don't have a craft kit, and it's a great way to expand your coral reef even if you do. I started by flattening my paper towel tube, and now I'm going to cut out some slots. Now I'll flatten the tube the other way. So I can make slots on another side. We'll cut some slits into the top of our coral. And we can bend them back to resemble a flower. Voila! Paper towel tube coral! You can flatten a tube to make some rounds. Or cut out different sizes of flowers. I'm going to use little pieces of fun noodle to anchor my skewers, but if you don't have fun noodles at home, you can glue or tape on chopsticks, popsicle sticks, or toothpicks. Now it's time to create our bases. Get out your cups, your beans, and some glue. You'll also need a kitchen butter knife. Pour half of the beans into each cup. And add two or three tablespoons of glue to each cup. Don't worry, you don't have to be very specific here. One note about the bases. If you're using the glue method for your base, you don't want to make it too far ahead of time or the glue could dry up. We'll be placing our coral into the wet glue for support. 
Uh-oh, I'm running out of glue. Don't worry, I have more. If you'd like, you can add about five drops of food coloring to your glue, or you can stir in half a teaspoon or so of some craft paint. Using my butter knife, I'll go ahead and stir my glue into the beans. Trying to leave as flat of a surface as possible. Now I'll stir up this other cup. And try and flatten that surface too. If you don't have beans, I tried this method with a few other kitchen items. I tried elbow macaronis, rice, and coffee. Each would definitely work for this project. Here's a cereal box I've painted and stuffed with some grocery bags for support. And here's a piece of styrofoam I also painted to use as a base. There are plenty of options here. Now we can glue some of our sea creatures onto the bases. And now it's time to go ahead and decorate our coral reefs. It's almost like creating a flower arrangement. I like to place my biggest corals first and then start adding sea creatures and decorations all around. Use your imagination. This mesh tubing is so much fun. Add items at different heights. You can add your coral garland in the middle or all around, or you can tie it into like a circle and then go ahead and drape it around your coral reef. All done with this one. I took this one out to the pool to get a good look at it. And here's one I made with the paper towel tubes. How to cut the pool noodles. Please supervise and assist as needed. I'm using a regular butter knife to make my cuts. Watch your hands and fingers and be careful. Move slowly and apply light pressure as you cut through the noodle.
Fun facts about coral reefs. How many barrier reefs are there? Thousands of coral reefs exist around the world, including... The Great Barrier Reef in the Coral Sea off the coast of Queensland, Australia. The Red Sea Coral Reef in the Red Sea near Egypt and Israel. And the Florida Reef in the Gulf of Mexico right here off the coast of Florida. A few fun facts about the Great Barrier Reef in Australia. It's the biggest reef system in the world. It contains over 2,900 individual reefs. It has more than 900 islands across 1,600 miles. This one's my favorite. It's the only living thing that can be viewed from outer space. It's about half the size of Texas. It's home to dolphins, porpoises, and more than 30 species of whales. 17 species of sea snakes live on the reef. There are more than 1,500 different species of fish. 10% of the fish in the world live there. It's thought to be 20 million years old. It has over 400 different types of coral, 350 of which are hard corals. We want to create our own barrier reef. This is a project that can go on all summer long. Decorate a big box or a piece of styrofoam and go to town. Look what we're creating. I've learned so much about coral reefs today, and I hope you have too. I really did. It was so much fun. Thank you for joining us today. We hope we've given you a lot of ideas to create coral reefs. There's a lot more information about reefs at your local library. I know I want to learn more. As always, my friends, and until the next time, happy creating! Let's do it together. Let's both look at each other and say, so let's get started. This video has been brought to you by the Clearwater Public Library System and SisterEarth.net. Thanks so much for watching. Please subscribe for more tips and ideas and visit SisterEarth.net for videos, events, and to check out the fine art and children's books available for purchase. As always, happy creating, my friends.